This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Cha with this ABC 10 News update. Well, despite warnings, a lot of people are still traveling, leaving health experts worried that Thanksgiving gatherings could lead to another surge in coronavirus cases. Although it wasn't the typical jam-packed crowds at Lindbergh Field 24 hours before Thanksgiving, there were still many hopping on last-minute flights yesterday. AAA estimating nearly 4 million Southern Californians will travel, 3.5 million by car and about 270,000 by air. Hospitals, meanwhile, preparing for the possible post Thanksgiving surge. They are concerned health care services could become overwhelmed. Hospitals in our area are already seeing more hospitalizations than they saw over the summer. The latest numbers show we have more than 530 people in the hospital because of COVID-19. Scripps Health says they have a detailed plan in place that has managed to balance out hospital capacity by transferring patients to different hospitals. Help is on the way for restaurants, gyms, and other businesses that have been financially devastated by COVID restrictions. The San Diego County Board of Supervisors unanimously approving a $20 million temporary relief package. That money from the county's general fund will be divided among the five districts in the county, each getting $4 million. The money will be distributed in the form of grants, which means businesses will not have to pay it back. Let's talk to Megan Perry about the Thanksgiving Day forecast, which is looking nice, Megan. It really is, especially for anybody that is going to be celebrating Thanksgiving outdoors today. Temperatures trending near normal all across the county and a few degrees below normal for some spots. So that'll take us into the low to mid 60s along our coast, mid to upper 60s inland, 50s in the mountains with 70s in the deserts. But tonight, the winds are going to turn offshore with Santa Ana winds building late tonight into early tomorrow morning. A red flag warning will be in effect from 9 p.m. today until 6, uh, 2 a.m. on Saturday. We're looking at gusts in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range with isolated gusts of 50 miles per hour or so and low humidity le levels leading to elevated fire danger. That red flag warning will be in effect for the inland and mountain areas. Virginia. Thank you so much, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, happy Thanksgiving. I'm Virginia Chaw.